rejected me. You listened to the devil. You showed him confidence. You, you who until yesterday knew nothing of Satan, you so easily made him your trusted friend and master. I respected your freedom, although you owe it to me. You surrendered it to your fiercest enemy. You unwittingly became his aider and abettor, and you have paid for it with your misfortune. Above all, you failed to understand that your enemy used you to root their eternal evil in your kingdom, in the place where I put you, heaven, so you could never, never find peace again. Blasphemy. David, can you, can you ever forgive me? How vile. It's locked. thing was following me. Me and the children from St. Anne's Orphanage. Tragedy strikes again. It was only a few days ago that another boy was reported missing from St. Mary's Church. This is the seventh in a string of children reported missing since just last month. All of them were poor souls from St. Anne's Orphanage, apparently under the custody of Father Abraham Marcus. I witness confirmed... His... They've gone mad. Are they accusing me? Each night I pray for the safe return of the altar boy. God as my witness. Could there be an unholy will at work here? Now, we have breaking news about the killer priest from Black Tower. Eyewitness confirms he really did murder those eight children. Father Ryan Carpenter is here with a message for him. Father, we have to speak about what you did. You used to call them angels, but in the end you killed them with a straight razor. They were innocent children, Father. Heavenly Father, help me in these hands. dark times. There's even for blood on you the know, altar. I am your humble servant. I hear the demons gnawing at my faith. My mind is clouded by doubt. Guide me towards the light in these darkest of hours. Wherever the child may be, I know you are with him. I will not lose my faith. I know you will give me a sign. It's locked. Forgive me, Father. Tonight I will leave this world. My suffering is more than I can bear. I always thought I could find solace among the mortals, but I was a fool. You'll find me at the end of the world. I am waiting for you, and please, do not despair. Could this mean that you're alive? What is this?
This place? Is this another of the devil's tricks? This place is not of your world. It is within the grasp of heaven. It is a part of paradise. God himself gave us this place. Only the brave, the righteous, and the loving can stay here. You're not one of them yet. In time, you'll change. Soon, your eyes will see the truth. You'll break the seal of the mystery. have a gift for you. An image of Christ. What a curious gift. You will find more of these. They are all scattered around my world. Bring eight of them to the great priest, and he will reveal a great mystery to you about life and death. Remember, every place that you'll visit in my world has a hidden icon somewhere. Leave no stone unturned. Was that place even real? I think I'm going insane. We've invited our beloved... There's something strange about those eyes. I don't like them staring at that door. The creator of all things is no more. Sacramental bread. What kind of trick is this? Who brought these mannequins here from the basement? Holy water. There is a story about a priest and his whore. His name was Father Abraham, and her name was Lady Alexandra. It is said that she was a faithful creature, visiting the church often at night to confess her sins. Of course, Father Abraham would ask God for forgiveness. Later in the night, they would speak again about sins. This time, 
It would be on how to commit them. She would touch him. Her carnal lust knew no shame. She would plead with him to touch her sinful flesh and to feel the sweetness of her lips. Once, she told him, I want to feel the taste of the cross on my lips. I want to be part of your madness, to make liturgy of sin, to drink the blood of Christ and to eat his flesh, to bathe in his blood, to be one with him. This is blasphemy! There is a story about a priest and his whore. His name was Father Abraham, and her name was Lady Alexandra. It is said that she was a faithful creature, visiting the church often at night to confess her sins. Of course, Father Abraham would ask God for forgiveness. Later in the night, they would speak again about sins. This time, it would be on how to commit them. She would touch him. Her carnal lust knew no shame. She would plead with him to touch her sinful flesh and to feel the sweetness of her lips. Once she told him, I want to... felt ashamed about my relationship with Alexandra. She always had a peculiar passion about the church and about me, especially me. The Roman ritual. I used this on David to banish the demon that tormented us for a long time. sacramental bread. The blood and the flesh of Christ. But that means red wine and sacramental bread. We've invited our beloved father, Ryan Carpenter, to talk about the recent events. Good evening, father, and Merry Christmas. Good evening, and thank you for the invitation. May God bless us all. Regarding these events, I think we are paying for the sins we've actually never committed. So you are saying we are being punished for someone else's sins? Are you talking about Father Abraham? Listen, my son. I always carry a Bible by my side. Remember the ninth commandment? Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. But in this case, how can I not speak of him? So, is Father Abraham involved? Obviously, we are dealing with a monster. Fear the beast. For it has been unchained and is walking our very streets. This, this is the sign that the world is coming to an end. The return of our Lord Jesus Christ is ahead. Be afraid. Be very afraid. The beast could be in your very homes at this A instant and you won't cylinder. even know it. Very grim warning indeed. Now, Father, I'm a simple man. I'm not a very religious person, and I do not believe everything that is written in the Bible. Are you implying that Father Abraham is a beast? A priest? Of course. But how could this be possible? Listen, firstly, you invited me here on your show in the middle of the night.
The smell of wine. What is this? I still love you. Do you remember how we met? Six years ago, at an exhibition of paintings depicting St. Francis. I was in mourning at the time. You noticed me. You approached me, seeing that I was upset and dressed in black. You, a stranger, approached me in an art gallery and comforted me. Who would have done that? I started crying. You wiped my tears away with a white handkerchief. I felt something I could not describe. I was in love for the first time. You told me that you lived your life in vain until the day you discovered God. Wounded as I was, I fell prey to love, but I never thought you would put your love for God above me. I still love you, but it doesn't matter anymore. I love you in my own way. Unfortunately, we will never be able to marry. As a priest, I'm forbidden to do that. I swore an oath. Even so, though I should not, I still love you. God, what a deadly sin. Nevertheless, it is good that we do not live together anymore. But that is not enough. We shall never see each other again. We cannot live in sin anymore. Stop visiting me at night under the pretext of confessing your sins. It is a torment of the body and soul. People talk. Everything has to stop. Goodbye, Alexandra. I hate you. But consider my hatred to be a strange kind of love that can't find a way of expressing itself other than this.
David, if you don't show yourself, the entire village will see me off to the gallows. Grown-ups never understand anything by themselves. And it is tiresome for children to be always and forever explaining things to them. Listen, I want to give my mother a flower. But the flower is dead. Can you bring it to life? Something missing. The stranger broke the flow of the holy tears. He was an ignorant. He ran from truth, but he fell into a dark sleep. He took the missing element with him. He's buried somewhere around. If only I could walk on water. This blasted steam! Those icons look exactly like the floating ones from the shore. Long is the way and hard that out of hell leads up to light. Hmm, it appears to be an Eastern European language. Go towards the heavens and lay beside the Creator. It is from the Lamentations of Christ. Appears to be the tomb of the ignorant man David was telling me about.
I really love to play such types of games with you. You're a bit boring as all the adults, but you will get used to it in time. Yet I don't understand. It's locked. I can't believe someone destroyed this precious book just to hide a key inside. We both know that I am not guilty. and my stole, the Roman ritual, and the holy water. Oh God, do I really have to relive these events? I, I must prepare myself then. I must get my rosary and my stole, the Roman ritual, and the holy water. something strange about those eyes. I don't like them staring at that door. addiction.
I stole. Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Amen, come to the assistance of men whom God has created in his likeness and whom he has redeemed at a great price from the tyranny of the devil. The Holy Church venerates you as her guardian and protector. To you the Lord has entrusted the souls of the redeemed to be led into heaven. Pray therefore for the God of peace to crush Satan beneath our feet, that he may no longer retain men captive and do injury to the Church. Offer our prayers to the Most High, that without delay they may draw his mercy down upon us. Take hold of the dragon, the old serpent, which is the devil and Satan. something in the oven. O thou who art fire, and burnest the unworthy, scorch me not, O my Maker, but rather pass through me for the integration of my members into all my joints, my affections, and my heart. Burn up the thorns of all my sins, Purify my soul, sanctify my mind, strengthen my knees and bones, enlighten the simplicity of my five senses. This is madness. I can't even see my reflection in the mirror. Could this be real? Who knows? Only those children that you've killed. Do not forsake me, my lord. In thy light I shall see the light. Impressive! A music box in the shape of a heart. This is indeed a great artifact. I must have forgotten it that night when I left the house. Be very careful. You are responsible for what you found. Why does this place look so familiar to me? Something tells me that the innocent and the beautiful sleep here. I fear that I am the one who is lifeless and not these poor souls buried here.
Rocco David. Don't cry, woman. The children are now in the embrace of heaven. Only the brave can enter the great laboratory. Only the one that can crush a demon and bring it as a burnt offering for the architect of the worlds. A demon as a sacrifice. Where could I possibly find one? I guess it's time for you to meet my brother, Alexander, the little prince, as everyone calls him. He has a special trap that will help you on your journey. He lives in a small house, on top of a hill somewhere around here. You never told me you had a brother. You never listened. tell you a story. Once upon a time, there were two great warriors, a shepherd and a little prince fighting against an unjust king. The two warriors reached the gates of the city and called out their enemy, the king. He cowardly hid behind two of his archers. It so happened that some of their arrows were dipped in poison. One of those arrows hit the little prince.
There was warm blood in his fragile body, but then it was corrupted by poison. His lungs desperately gasped for air, if only for a soft breeze of it. His mind was the only thing that was kept safe. Then he started shedding tears. Some say his crying echoed more than a thousand tolling bells.
Oh God, I always asked myself why God allowed children to die. Don't be sad. You must be brave now. Do not linger like this. You must journey forth. Be brave. Good evening, Father Abraham. Are you there? If you are hearing this message, then please go outside. It appears that someone has a surprise for you. You can find it next to the fountain in the churchyard. I suppose Satan has baked some special biscuits for you. Wait, wait, Father. If there really are biscuits, don't forget to share them with those hungry children from the There's orphanage. something strange that about is, those eyes. I don't like them staring at that yet. door. But I fear the worst. This is the first snow I've seen in years. It makes me feel oddly comfortable. This, this isn't snow. What is this? Oh, God, volcanic ash. Please, can you open the gates, mister?
We are both pure and obscene. We are children who died on bad times. We are called my eye. There are seven of us. We want to go back in hell. But we want to drag you with us. A demon as a sacrifice. Hmm. Uh, mister, can you... What's going on here? They're acting like I wouldn't be here. that I have the demon, I can finally enter the church. I thought a lot about your dedication. I sense something good residing within you. It seems that the doors are being held shut by some mystical force. I always kept a watchful eye on the great laboratory. 
When there were no more children left to play inside the laboratory, I closed the altar and buried the key. Whomsoever wishes to enter needs to create a new key from Eucharistic tears, essence of earth, and tincture of the sun. Then they must find my cave and forge it inside the Athenor. The crystal seems to be alive. this be possible? What a peculiar planet. People grow 5,000 roses in one garden, yet they don't find what they're looking for. But what they're looking could be found in a single rose or a little water. I can rise above the earth and watch everything moving in this universe. Now is your time.
those so-called Eucharistic tears are in fact pure water. I need two molecules of hydrogen and one of oxygen. This must be the tincture of the sun. Now, David, where can I find Elder Joseph? I need to forge this key. Elder Joseph lives not far from here, but his cave is hidden. I will help you find it. Outside you will find that I have arranged a sleigh for you. I always loved the winter. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Who, who are you? I am his father. We will be at your side until the end of time.
My son, unfortunately, if you are reading this, it means I am no longer of this earth. Now that you have brought the world's rarest treasures from the temple, you need to mix them inside a simple jug. Put everything inside the ethanol, then light a fire. You will need my bones for this to task. You are wondering why? Because alchemy works with the very essence. This is it. Now that I hold this key, I feel as though I'm one step closer to finding the truth. Indeed, I'm afraid the truth could either elevate me to the grace of God or destroy my very being. You are haunted by seven demons. I'm afraid the cruel and early embrace of death has greeted them unbaptized. You need to place their hearts on this altar to put them to rest. I also need the skull of a saint. I advise you to search for a book of rituals in your library. It will help you when you have to face them. Seven hearts and the skull of a saint? I should search for clues in my library. I also have a special book there, Eastern Rituals for Banishing the Devil. Years ago, I traveled to Transylvania. There, the townsfolk had a peculiar way of dealing with the ghosts of unbaptized children. They would take the body out of its tomb and bring it to the crossroads. Then, they... the exorcism was a mistake. Now, I can clearly see. David was not possessed. That was only in my mind. He would often ramble about mysticism, about after death, about eternity, about things I couldn't comprehend at that time. I took this as a sign of demonic possession. What child in the world speaks Hebrew at such an early age? He would preach the gospel to the children from the orphanage he would then go to church in the middle of the night and would stay there, crying for hours and hours. I followed him one night. He kept on praying, God have mercy on me, oh God have mercy on me. I thought that he needed help, that he was tormented by demons. I never considered that those could have been signs of his holiness.
Hmm, the only thing I kept after I renounced the darkness of my thoughts and converted. I'm not sure why, but it makes me think of my earlier beliefs and how I've changed. As though there were two of us in one body, a pure and an evil side. So this is how the ghosts of the unbaptized children want to drive me mad. You stand no chance, Satan. I believe in God and he is my savior. Do you hear me? Could this mean that the seven missing children are in fact victims of cholera? I knew I couldn't be guilty. I'll call the radio station right now. They deserve to know the truth before it's too late. Good evening, sir. Good evening, caller. This is Father Abraham Marcus from St Mary's. Good heavens, the killer priest? The child murderer himself? Silence your lying tongue. You know as well as I do that those children didn't go missing. They died of cholera. Stop turning people against me with false claims. Why are you all trying to crucify me by connecting me to their deaths? Oh, Father, please, listen. We don't care if you killed them or not. We're particularly interested in that poor little altar boy, David. What do you do with him, hmm? Please, do tell. <laughs> Enough of this madness. They're acting like demons as well, like wild beasts. I shall linger no more. The ritual book, where is it?
One night, when the northern lights could be seen clearly in the night sky, I took this dagger and slit the throat of a lamb. A memory I am ashamed of now. You don't scare me. Do you understand? I'm on your object. What harm could I bring? I know where you can find the book, but for this you must sign the blood back on the shelf right here. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. This is not what I asked of you. The book David told me about. Now, I should go down to the crypt. I hope the gate to the old cemetery is open. Welcome. This place was my home for a long time. We are holding a tea party on the nearby island. We can't start until everyone is present. My brother Alexander was left behind locked inside his bedroom. Can you open the doors and call him? Of course.
My God, this place, it's alive. All grown-ups were once children, but only few of them remember it. Dear Mom, thank you for visiting me every week and bringing me apple pies. Alexander is not feeling well these days, but he will regain his strength. Today we discovered a new formula that can bring back to life any dead flowers. Can you believe it? I love you, Mom. Today, something special happened. A woman and her husband came to the orphanage, looking to adopt a child. She was very beautiful, with long, dark hair, and he was tall and charming. They both looked like wealthy people. The monks gave them David, the wisest child in the orphanage. You know, this isn't funny. It's just a game. Go ahead. No. Ah! It seems you're beginning to understand. It was just another test. Now you need to find seven toys and bring them to me. In exchange, I will give you the names of the seven children you need to find. The dolls are all scattered inside the house.
Thank you. 